thing. This is the way you should dress in the kitchen. Plus, to keep the... <laughs> to keep the lice off the food. <laughs> I may be gone for quite some time. <laughs> We're going to make an apple pie. And first of all, we'll mix some things together here. It's always a good idea. <laughs> I can't insist enough. Where's my flour? Flour, sugar, bugger it, right? <laughs> flour. Mix your flour nice and thin. Now, I'll come to this bit here. I'm dying to get flour's a doddle, right? It's easy. That's approximately a pound of flour, right? <laughs> now, with this, you mix the yolk of an egg, right? Now, a lot of people get frightened with mix separating the yolk from the thingy jig, the yellow bit. <laughs> You see, they make this first mistake, they get nervous when they're doing it. What you mustn't forget is the egg's more nervous than you. <laughs> you have to sneak up on an egg. What? <laughs> right? Now, don't say a thing. <laughs> popular, sort of hum a popular tune of the day. All I want you to know. <laughs> is you see, no, see, a lot of people don't realize. Where's my damn? Oh, I've got the thing. Right now, eggs. Eggs are extremely handy objects. For instance, have you ever thought of getting yourself a seat on the subway with an egg? Here's how it's done. You wander onto the subway and all the seats are taken, right? So you swan, <laughs> you swan up the middle. You know the people are always sitting on both sides. You swan up the middle casually, <laughs> and then this is like, the next part is. to me, Bill, how do you... <laughs> I better cut my apples. <laughs> <laughs> you should have a good sharp knife for this. It's a good hint for the kitchen. A good sh with a good sharp knife, two ounces of spam can last you a fortnight. Right. <laughs> Hang about, we'll just bung these in the thing. Right, I get in there. This is... Get it down here. It's lovely. And every bit's natural too. They said, Bill, how do you get that certain piquancy, that certain je ne sais quoi in your apple pies, that little tarty tst? <laughs> the secret is an old Scottish recipe. A sausage. <laughs> I have here severial innocent... <laughs> innocent young sausages. And there's a lucky person in the audience going to choose one. <laughs> Hang about. <laughs> Would you like to pick a sausage? Anyone, madam. Any sausage at all. Pick a damn sausage! <laughs> Place it anywhere in the pack. <laughs> Don't tell me, right? Like, remember it, remember it. <laughs> Madam, could you shuffle these? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a super weird. That, that was not the one you picked. Have you ever felt a wet saucy? <laughs> Dear God. Ah, you go there with the eggs. Right, so you mix all this up together, after a fashion. Bung it in the tray. See, cooking's basically a very simple art. <laughs> sausage, yeah, two sausages. That'll do you. Now, since we've no flour, I've cunningly prepared... <laughs> it's like Blue Peter. We have one made ready here. Give it a bit of a squidge. 
Then you roll it over a thing like that. said to me, Bill, why is there always a wee hole in the pastry? And it's simple, really, it's to put your finger in and see if it's ready. <laughs> now, I can't emphasise enough safety in the kitchen. 75% of all, of all accidents happen in the home. So just get ready to put this in the oven here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> God, it's hell in there. <laughs>